Hey everyone, it's John here from CNS Outdoors. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about frost seeding here. Uh, it's early March and we are getting ready to put our clover down. Now, if you're not familiar with frost seeding, it's uh, an application where you're usually just broadcasting uh, small seeds like clover, uh, cereal grains, chicory, that type, of, uh, that type of a seed. And you're getting it on the ground uh, usually like I say, early early winter or in, uh, depending upon where you're at, March, April, maybe late February. Um, frost seedings where you're really doing what it sounds like. You're putting the seeds down during the uh, frost. That way when the, uh, the ground warms up, it kind of opens up the earth. And then when it's cold, it contracts and it pulls those seeds down. Um, we uh, we have a small food plot that's clover, and I'm going to let Tori uh, talk about what we're doing there, and uh, hope this helps you out. Hey guys, we're back here on the food plot. Another thing we're going to go over today um, is frost seeding our plot. Uh, just before all the snow gets away, we're going to try to lay down some clover seed here. This is already an established plot. We've established it two years ago. The deer really are in here. They basically ate it down actually before winter even hit they had this chewed up it's only about a, a fifth of an acre plot here but we're going to make it a little bigger this year um, but for now we're going to establish um, some more clover spread it over top let that sun and let the snow and the, the first basically soaking of the soil if you want to say soak in and get that clover started right away try to get ahead of the game here as we go into this spring um, we usually we use the earthway here uh, seed bag it's more of a bag type more than you're just your common spreader you can use that too this seems to work well for us especially when you're doing bigger plots um, and walking but uh, what we'll do is we'll just spread it over on a low uh, low setting we'll come back and I bet by May here we'll have some nice nice fresh clover coming up and I guarantee you them deer will be in here so we're not but 50 yards from that mineral site um, typically you don't like to quite want those on top of your food plots but We've already established that, like I said, and we don't like to move mineral sites once we get them going. Um, but as of now, the deer, the deer are in here, they're still moving through here. Like I said, they basically had everything eaten, so now they're just picking tops around the food plot. And I don't know about you guys, but for us, deer hunting never stops. It's on the mind all the time. So we'll get this spread out and uh, enjoy the rest of our day here because we've taken care of all the chores, so to speak, we need to do here at the cabin. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Thanks guys for tuning in to CNS Outdoors. Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll get back to you. Tight line, shoot straight everybody.